Here we take a look at electrostatic precipitators for air sampling. Electrostatic precipitators can be used to collect particles for aerosol sampling or air cleaning. Here we show an electrostatic precipitator, or ESP, used for air sampling. A transmission electron microscopy, TEM, grid is first inserted into the ESP. The TEM grid serves as a flat featureless collection surface that is well suited for microscopy. It consists of a metal mesh covered with a thin film surface. Air entering the inlet of the ESP is directed to flow over the TEM grid. Electrostatic forces cause particles in the air to migrate and collect on the TEM grid. Typically, airflow rates are low and sample times are short, less than one minute, to avoid particle overloading. This type of ESP is called a point-to-plane ESP. An electric field is formed between a corona needle, the point, and a flat collection surface, the plane, held at opposite voltage. Zooming in on the needle, we can see the corona where air molecules are pulled apart to form ions. Ions with charge opposite that of the needle, here negative ions, flow toward the needle, whereas those positively charged flow away from the needle along electric field lines. Particles in the incoming air are charged when they collide with the ions. Electrical forces then cause the particles to migrate and collect on the flat surface. After sampling, we remove the TEM grid from the ESP and put it in the microscope. At low magnification, we can see the circular shape and square openings, often called windows, formed by the copper grid. If we pick a window and zoom in, we can see many sub-micrometer particles. Zooming in further, we can see that the particles are complex chain agglomerate structures with the smallest features on the order of 10 nanometers. TEM grids prepared in this way can also be analyzed by scanning electron microscopy.